meant to play this. Ah! Ah! There's a twister. We're out. Oh, it's a Wizard of Oz. I don't even know what to say. I'm broken. Legit. This is probably the first time on the channel I am literally broken. Because at this stage, I am really struggling here. <laughs> really struggling. Good afternoon, all you lovely people. Today is episode two of What Is My Handicap? We are here at the beautiful Benton Hall here in Whitton in Essex. Ladies and gentlemen, if you noticed, I'm wearing a hat. And the reason why I'm wearing a hat is because it is bloody windy today. We picked a day for it. We have picked a day to play for our handicap. So ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be 18 holes. 18 holes, Benton Hall. I had to shout out, massive shout out to the PGA. Oh, a leaf got you. <laughs> I have a, a massive shout out to the PGA coach down here, uh, Lee, sorting this out. Thanks so much, Lee, for sorting this out for us. Um, hopefully, we'll get Lee on the channel and we'll do one of those little versus videos. But for the meantime, what's my handicap? Episode two, Benton Hall, 18 holes. Let's go. Right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. First hole, as you can see, literally is mental. Why have I picked today? <laughs> First hole, par five, playing 529 yards to the middle. We've got fairway bunkers on the left-hand side. I don't think there's any out of bounds, but because of the wind, I'm not gonna play a driver because I loft it too high. Three wood is more of a penetrating flight, so if I can get that going, I'll be happy. My hat fell off, I could see the ball. That literally held up like there's no tomorrow, but it's okay, we got one off the tee, we are off, let's go, come on. <laughs> See my air going? See my air? Look at this. I feel like I'm in a music video. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah? <laughs> We're all right. We're in a good position. I'm quite happy about this. Wind is howling, but it's okay. We have 343 left into this par three. It's going to be one hell of a day. To par five, positioning is always key at this point, I think. I think that is the key point here this wind. Literally is mental, isn't it? I feel like I'm playing in Scotland. This is Essex. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. It's okay. We'll just recover from it. I feel it's going to be a challenging day, but we're going to stay positive today because we know the elements are not on our side. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we couldn't find it for some reason. It went through there, but lost it. It would have ricocheted somewhere. So we're taking a penalty, and we're having to go back to where we were. We know we were in line with a bunker. So. And that's just going to balloon, isn't it? Okay. It's going to balloon. It's all right. We're not in the trees lost again. <laughs> At this stage, we just need to get off this hole, don't we? Finny one, but listen, it's gone below the, it's gone below the wind. That is not far off the edge of the green, is it? Just off the edge. Off the edge. <laughs> That's when you appreciate a thin. <laughs> this wind is mad. Whew. I tell you what, it's mad for an average golfer like myself, but it's fun to have a challenge like this. Come on, let's go, let's do it, come on. Or just go in. Oh. Hey, listen, that'll do, wouldn't it? That'll do to start us off. I know it's going to be a double, but listen, we doubled the first hole in episode one. So, if we can get a double here and walk off going, the wind is mental, then I'll, I'll take that, actually. I will take that. Just think, if we just knocked a few down here, we wouldn't have had that penalty shot. But listen, let's forget about the past. Let's knock this one in. Straight down, straight down the middle. Oh, they are fast. They are fast, Zach. I tapped that. I tapped it. Right. We'll take a trips. Let's go. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, this is hole two, par three. It's playing 167 yards today. 
got a bunker to the left. I believe there's a bit of water to the right hand side. Let's go. Well, it's 167, and I would have hit 167, I would have gone seven iron. So it's 167, so I went down to an eight, but if the wind's quite severe, should we just go for a, a nine? Finned it again, but listen. It's bouncing. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, it's just on the top of the back there. I normally hit a 60, but seeing as I've got a slope like this, it's turning my 56 into a 60. So I'm going for a 56. Let it just filter down. Filter down more than that. Okay, okay. When you miss the green, you're always gonna give yourself a difficult one for par. So let's clean up, steady the ship down. If Rick Shields taught me anything, is that you don't count the front nine. <laughs> There's not really much movement, pretty straight. Still going, isn't it? Quick. Have to say, Benton Hall, first two greens have uh, impressed. These are fast. Oh, there was a bubble there. Right, okay. Take a double. We're bringing the scores down. Because if you think we did trips on the first one, now we've gone double. Next one will be a bogey, then a par, then we've got birdie, then eagle, then hole in one. That's how it goes, isn't it? <laughs> it's playing 310 yards to severe dog leg left. Come on. Aim at that stick. If it draws a bit, it draws a bit. That's the aim. That did. Sit now. I think I've got a bit of space up there, but if it keeps running, I could be in trouble. That felt good. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. This is it now. That was the first shot we needed to get us going. Forget the first two holes. We have got a confidence boost from that shot. I've been hitting them well at the range. Let's just bring it onto the course. Come on. 135. We got unlucky. We're just in this long stuff. I think the safe bet would be a 56. As hard as we can just to get it out and let it go down. I think that's going to be better than a 48, don't you? Yeah. yeah. It's going to completely... Come on. Yeah, now sit. That's all right, we're out, aren't we, Zach? I'm just glad we didn't lose it, jeez. Just get it airborne, clippy wedge. Come on. Shame, it'll do. It would have been, I would have been happier had that been my second shot onto the green. Now we've got that for par. The greens are fast. We know the greens are fast, so remember that. I just got to get the speed right. I need to get the speed right. Speed was spot on. I just leaked it left a bit. That's all right though, look. What did I say? I said we'll do trips, double, bogey, Next hole we par it, next hole we birdie it, and the next hole we hole him on it. <laughs> next hole, hole four, par four, playing 367 yards. As you can see, severe right to left dropping. Fairway bunkers, long way up to go. Positional play, I think, is going to be key here. I'd love to hit a driver, but seeing as we've leaked so many shots, I think we've got to play safe. Seven iron in hand. So that'll, that'll go, it's just going to bounce left. There you go, and down it goes. It's gone down. It's all right, we'll take it, but it's gone down as we expected. Look at this sloping on this. So we've hit it up here, and it's literally gone. 
Look how mad, look, look, you st look me here. Look at this. Crazy hole. 180 uphill. I'm just gonna hit a, a seven iron again. Just get a good seven iron up there. Right, here we go. 180 yards. Still got a long way to go. Oh, what? <laughs> no words, Zach, no words. It's up again above my feet, innit? It's just a really tricky one. I really. That wind as well. Woo! Sit. Could be alright. That could be alright. Oh! Could be all right. <laughs> Any more times? <laughs> Could be all right. Could be all right. Wasn't actually that bad. We think, we just repaired a pitch mark, so we think it might have landed front edge of the green and rolled out here because it did come in quite penetrating. So, not bad. Come round. Great for length. Great for length, just right. Concentration, concentration, concentration. Should be an easy putt. Should be an easy putt. That wind's gonna push it maybe slightly, so maybe if I aim for the right edge of the cup, because that wind will push it a bit, I think. I feel like I'm just tapping it, Zach. I feel like I'm just tapping it. It's just super quick. Look, that was a tap again. That was a tap again. Right. What can you say, ladies and gentlemen? You, you, just gotta, you just gotta play what you got. And at the moment, we are battling. We are battling, but let's just keep going. Come on. Right, hole five, par four. It's now 376 yards. It's literally between the two trees and then goes severe downhill, I think. Again, it's just a case of play position. A seven iron should then reach the top of that and then it should roll down, I reckon. That's my thought process anyway. Like that. That is pure. That was a good strike, I peeled that one. Come on, positive, confidence. 156 yards, this did come downhill. At the moment, I'm literally trying to steady the ship. After those few holes we played, it would have been awful. I'm trying to steady the ship. Otherwise, I might have hit a three wood in normal circumstances. It's about steadying the ship. It might even be worth, tell you what might be a smarter move, a, just a chippy eight iron, controlled, because I don't know if I'm gonna get a full wallop on this one. Don't you think? I think that could be a smarter play because then I've got, I don't have to worry about trying to get good contact with it, trying to wallop it. I can literally just go just a little, I think that could be a better option, to be honest. Hold on to that left side. Tell you what, that's not worked out that bad. I could have maybe committed a bit more. I was a bit nervous. I'm going to hold my hands up, a bit nervous, but that hasn't worked out bad, has it? Zach, what's this? What's, what, hang on, is this a clue? Is this a sign? Hang on. What should we all do? I reckon we should subscribe and then like and then hit that bell. Right. Again, we'll, we'll take this. We will take it. Just now, just pop it up. Now sit, now sit, now sit, now sit, now sit, 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 sit. We've got to look. We've got to look at par, we've got to look at par. Come on, confidence, come on, it's starting to grow, come on. I don't know if you can hear me, to be honest, this wind is mental. This wind is mental. Okay, 
One of these has got to drop. Pretty straight. Again, it's just straight. Get the speed right. It's just straight. I feel good about these putts. I really do. So I, it's a shame none of them are dropping because I feel I can do these ones. Come on. We've got a par on the board, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a par on the board. Right, now we start the move. Now we start the move. Let's go, come on. Woo! We are now par three, 137 yards, two bunkers in front of the fairway with a slight draw that this one tends to do. I'm going pitching wedge. Aim for that bank, and then it might feed back. Oh, fatted it, you stupid boy. You stupid boy. Ah. Stay focused. Come on. I don't know if that's still on the green. I'm not sure. The wind's into my face, so I thought I might have to club up a bit. Forget the wind. Forget the wind. Forget the wind, go in! <laughs> wind, where were you that time? <laughs> Bloody wind. Right, smart. Come on, is bogey a bad thing? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, next hole, it's hole seven, par four, 342 yards is playing today. Just saying off camera, I think we just play aggressive because playing conservative hasn't helped us at all. So let's just play aggressive. Let's go for it. We need to get back to just enjoying it rather than worrying about the scores and maybe the scores will look after themselves. Come on then. Sit. Yes. Zach. Come on. Right, ladies and gentlemen, 97 yards left. Uh, which is not, I don't think it's a great number. It's a good number, maybe 56. It's about 90. I'm going to aim through the right. So that if it does come up short, it should bounce on. Right, come on, you've got to stay confident, Lewis. I don't know where that, that divot went. I apologise. If I can find it, I'll repair it. Told you I'd do it. Great shot, I'm well happy with that. That's a good confidence booster. Come on. We've got a birdie chance now. We know it's fast, so it's only gonna need a tap. It's gonna be a slight right to the left, I reckon. But again, it's just tap it. Come on. Oh! oh! And it's still rolling out. I felt like I tapped it. Zach, tap. <laughs> Zach. I felt I just tapped that one, Zach. How has this happened now? Oh God, that is so, that is so upsetting. To have your chance at a birdie, you feel like you just tap it and it just rolls on. It clips the cup as well. 
after that absolutely appalling bogey, should not have been a bogey, 10 over through eight, through, through seven, and I can't even stand up. My driver hasn't been working very well recently, so that's why I've picked it, because of the way the fairway slopes from right to left. Par four, 328 yards, slopes from the right all the way down the fairway, so if it does cut a bit, it'll cut into the slope. Christ almighty, what a day to do the handicap series. My hat nearly went there. Oh no! <laughs> That's actually gonzo, I think. I'm going to get provisional. Yeah, I see it rolling. It should be all right. I mean, let's hope I can find the first one, though. Three, three off the tee. <sighs> Come on. Three off the tee. Wind is right into our face. Yeah, that's it. I clubbed up knowing that the wind was right into our face. So I did something smart. It's a shame I'm now bogeying. If you're still watching, I appreciate you. If it's a hard watch, let me tell you, it's harder playing. <laughs> Just pop it up. Look how far that's run out still. <laughs> Look at that. These greens are phenomenal. I don't think I've ever played in conditions this hard in my life. In my life. This is really, really hard, but keep going, keep going. Ninth hole, par four, playing 332 yards into the wind. Bunkers are at 300 yards, so they're not in play when I've got a three wood in hand. So, come on. That was so bad, I didn't rotate at all in my body. I did not rotate in my body at all. Come on, come on. Whew. Same club. Like that. Go, you little weasel. I didn't see it down. This could be a put putty job. I think it is, because it's quite tight lie. There's no point thinning it across. We're in a position, we got, we bailed out, we got away with it. A nice three wood put us here. And Zach just put it nicely. He said, you just reversed the shots. You did your wedge into the green, then your tee shot. So we just reversed them. Right, come on. This is a putt. Just get it close, par it. Just damage limitations at this stage. Oh, that wasn't as fast as I was expecting. I thought that had been a lot faster. Again, these kind of putts, I just feel confident about them. Even though I haven't made many, I've made one of them. I just feel confident about it. I feel, once I've got the pace right, I just feel I can just get it there. Right. 
we're growing into this round, aren't we? There is some real, real bad golf on show, but then equally there's some good elements. We need to grow on the good elements. Come on, come on. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are halfway stage now, just done the ninth hole. We're now moving on to the tenth hole. Just to give you a breakdown, we had a few real wayward shots in that front nine and a few scores that arguably don't often happen. If you've watched the channel for a while, you would know that we don't often hit triples. So I think we can take away from that 14 over par through the front nine. I think we can do better than that on the back nine. And we can still, I think we're still on, on, on course to break 100, easy. I just think we can now start trying to bring those shots down and get closer to 90. Come on, let's go on 10th. 10th hole, par four, 374 yards, downwind. Doesn't look like there's any trouble from what I can see. It's just literally the reverse of what we've just done. Mind you, there is water on the right hand side. And then we've got a bunker up further up. We're not gonna go there. Chances are, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it with confidence just because I feel, I think we're safe with that jinx in it. I can't see us going right. I can't see us going right. Recently, my miss has been a draw. That was awful, but we got away with it again. That was so, so bad. So, so bad. I'm not sure what I did there, but it was, it was, it was bad. But it's all right, let's go, come on. After a lot of deliberation, me and Zach have decided that it's severely downwind. I've decided. The front number is 138, 152 to the middle. So I'm going to go pitching wedge because I think the wind's going to help it get there. I really do. If I hit that, we're in money. Like that, like that. Sit now. Look at that. Come on, Zerk. We've got to stay confident because we can do this. Right, come on. Come on, Lewis. Sort your game out. <laughs> Here we go. Good wedge, middle of the green. Pins at the back of the green, which is why I didn't hit the right number. But hey, I don't care. Pitching wedge, because of the wind, we played it correctly. So, we've got to look at birdie. Just get it close for a par, I'd be well happy with that. Just set, settle that ship down. Go on. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Ha! Yeah! Woo! Oh. Come on! Let's go! I can't believe that. Just felt good. Yes, that punch that goddamn air. 11th hole, par four, 400 yards. 400 yards, I'm gonna play a hybrid. We've got water that goes all the way around. It's like a little stream that follows all the way around. So driver is definitely not the key here. So hybrid. That's mega, isn't it? Do I go three wood? I'm just thinking if I've got space at the back there, is the hybrid gonna make it to the corner? I think, I think we've just gotta play how we would normally play. I think we've just gotta go for it, I really do. Oh no. I can't believe I just did that. Right, let's hit another one just in case can't find that one. How do you do that, Lewis? How do you do that? One minute you hit a cracker, and then the next you do that. You see that down, did you? Yeah. Oh. This game is a mind beep. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still watching, thank you. I apologize because 
after hitting a birdie on, the, on that last hole, we've literally let ourselves down. The reason why I didn't go hybrid is because I didn't think I'd reach this dog leg. But then inevitably, we ended up not being able to make it anyway because we've now hit three of the tee. We've got 213 yards. Let's see if I can get a six there. I mean, a hybrid would get there. But we're going to go six. This is a provisional, just in case we can't find the other. Please sit. <laughs> I'm just, oh my God, I don't even know what to say. So what have we now here? Three of the T. So that was the fourth. Maybe not gonna find that one five, that was six. Seven, now we're eight. That was so poor as well. I, I apologize. I, I literally apologize. I cannot, there's no other, nothing else I can say. I apologize. I'm literally a broken man. I actually don't know what to say. I apologize. I apologize. If anyone's even watching, I mean, would you watch this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh God, I picked a bloody day, haven't I? <sighs> Pattern for blob. Right, well this is the last shot. If I don't, if I don't putt it, we pick it up. Pick up, minute, 11. Oh, good God. I, actually, I genuinely do not know what to say. I genuinely do not know what to say. 12 hole, par four, 328 yards, straight into the wind again. Oh, sick. <sighs> I don't know, provisional? Provisional. Why is that going there again? <sighs> Let's go find one of them. We got a bloody birdie and then this has happened. How are we meant to play this? Ah! Ah! There's a twister! We're out! Oh, he's a wizard of us! I don't even know what to say. I'm gonna lose my hat. Oh my god. Is this the stupidest round I think ever? It's come out. I've literally forgotten how to play golf. Whew. I've forgotten. I've forgotten how to play. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't honestly have much to say anymore. We're just going to literally try and play out the rest of the holes. Because that last hole, I think, just killed us. I think it has killed us. Nice little chip shot, wasn't it? <sighs> Eight, ladies and gentlemen. Eight. 13th hole par three, 180 yards. In this wind, I don't think I'll make it. I do not think we'll make it, but let's just clip one. Just absolute clip one. Thinned it. Thinned it? 
into the bunker. Okay, come on. Right, this goes up to the right. It's going to come right back down, right to the left sloping. Uh, this is a tricky putt. If I get close for a bogey, I think I'm going to just have to accept that. I left it out too much. I left it out too much. Right. I tell you, normally I would have been happy with that and gone, yeah, all right, bogey's okay. But at this stage, a bogey is really not okay. Par four, 14th hole, it's a short one, 298 yards, over the water, then it's a severe dog leg left up the hill to the green. I don't have to worry about that though, do I? Even that was thin and horrible. And that hasn't even made it. Oh, dear God, I, don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Flick it up. Well, it's on there. It's on there, I think that was sitting on a stick or something, but it's on there. Have you noticed, ladies and gentlemen, I'm broken, legit. This is probably the first time on the channel I am literally broken. But if for some whatever reason you're still watching this vlog at this point, please just put a little comment like, yes, just put yes. Just so I know whether people are actually sticking around for this appalling show. Just let me know. Because at this stage, I'm really struggling here. <laughs> really struggling. <laughs> that was toey. Fifteenth hole, par five. As it stands, we are 101. 30 over par, oh my God. I am so sorry if you're watching this. I just hit a bullet ball. 2.14 left to go. I'm just gonna play position. Brilliant. I literally have forgotten how to play this game. I've literally forgotten how to play this game. Let's see if I can try and remember how to hit a wedge. Oh no, we'll thin it. Sit now, please. Just off the bat, it might not be too bad, but it's a thinny, horrible one. I am, I am trying, ladies and gentlemen, I really am. Again, I could be talking to myself, there could be no one, no one watching at this stage. Come on. Wind into our face. Hit that bank, rolled it. Oh, didn't even make that. The wind held up so much, it didn't even make it to the little slope. I thought I was gonna make it to the slope. I thought I was gonna make it to the slope. Oh, that weren't bad. That was not bad. Right, another bogey on the cards. Oh, 
god! <laughs> I'm really trying to stay happy. I really Yeah, am. this is the 16th hole par for 170 yards. This is, I can imagine, painful viewing. I appreciate if you're sticking around. No. Towed the hell out of that and that's now drawn it. And it's kicked it out nicely. We've had a kick out. <laughs> Come on. So the ball was kicked out by the tree. Thank you, tree. But we've got to come over this water. Confident, confident. That's a great shot. It's just a shame it's a wedge, not the rest of my game. My wedge has been all right today. <laughs> For the par. Come on. <laughs> that literally was on the edge, wasn't it? Right, there we go. Another bogey to add to our lovely day in the wind. This is the 17th hole, par four. I don't even know what's over there. I think it's dead. I mean, I could see that one, but oh my God. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Literally the first shot I've hit today, which I've been happy with. <laughs> Seventh shot. Oh my God, what was that? That literally got right underneath it. Right underneath it. <sighs> oh no, oh no. And just to top it all off, I thinned it across the green, which I haven't done for a while. <laughs> well, mind you, I haven't blobbed a hole in a while, and then I've gone and done that twice today. This is literally the most insane round of golf I have ever played. Two blobs in a round, I've never done, never done two blobs in a round. I've done one, but I can't remember the last time I did that one blob in a round. And I've done two today. What am I even hitting for? Am I hitting another blob? <laughs> Zach whispers it because he doesn't want to say it. That is three blobs. Three blobs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is the last hole of the worst round of golf I've ever played. That should be all right. Did you even sit down? It went high, but it was between that bush and the tree. Right, seven iron, ladies and gentlemen, on this par five. 240 left in. I see it. Last wedge. Stiff it close. Rolled out a bit. It was in the long stuff, so I wasn't really going to get much spin. Happy my, today, I'm happy with my wedges. Today, I've been really happy with my wedges. I think my game's been manipulated by the wind. I've not chose the right club selection. Shut up. I don't think I would want to finish on a birdie. Don't deserve a birdie. Don't deserve a birdie. Right, well, we're finishing on par. Ladies and gentlemen, again, if you have watched, even up to this point again, I know if you have watched it, I asked you to put, but let me know if you've watched this much of it. I applaud you if you have. I am so sorry. Today has been horrific, absolutely awful. I apologise sincerely, apologise to all of you. Thank you so much for all the support that you're showing. Hope this doesn't affect the support that you're showing. 
एक लाख फूल दिया थैंक यू